So we need to use the extended power rule to find the given derivatives. Um, so let's start. Let's start by reviewing the power rule. It states that the derivative of x to the nth power with respect to x equals n times x to the power of n minus 1. So let's see how we can use it in part a. Here I'll copy paste. So the derivative of 9 over x to the fifth power with respect to x is the same as the derivative of 9 times x to the power of negative 5 with respect to x. Well, now let's use our power rule. So we get that this equals 9 times negative 5 times x to the power of negative 6. So this equals negative 45x to the power of negative 6. And this equals negative 45 over x to the power to the 6th power. So this is our answer for part A. Now let's do part B. Part B. So here we can write this down as the derivative of 3t to the, to the 16th power over t to the 6th power with respect to t minus the derivative of 4 over t to the 6th power with respect to t. Let's simplify it. It equals the derivative of 3 to the times t to the 10th power with respect to t minus the derivative of 4 times t to the power of negative 6 with respect to t. Now let's use the power rule and we get 3 times 10 times t to the 9th power minus 4 times negative 6 times t to the power of negative 7. So this equals 30t to the 9th power minus 24. Uh, or actually, wait, uh, plus 24. Um, over t to the 7th power. So this is our answer for part B.